Oh, oh, oh! I lost turn. That big box is burning, you guys. Oh my god. What's up, guys? I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another late night adventure. You've seen it from the thumbnail, guys. We're doing it. We're finally opening up the dive book box. The one that I found deep underwater in the haunted quarry. I had to dive really deep to get that box. I haven't opened it since. Um, it's been sitting in my garage for a very, very long time. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And by we, I mean Angelo. Angelo is finally back here in Canada. We're going to be opening up this bad boy throughout today's video. So make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you want more of these type of videos, let me know in the comments below. Let's go. So I didn't want to open the Dybek box in my own home because of obvious reasons. It's a freaking haunted box. And uh, that's a big no-no. You never know what can happen with these things. What kind of spells are in these things. Some of them do come with spells. Some of them come with pure evil. Some of them even have demons stuck inside of them, which is why we came all the way here in the middle of nowhere to this abandoned house that we filmed in in the summertime where Rennie actually had a weird paranormal encounter where he was kind of like possessed in here. So this is Uncle Tom's cabin. If you guys remember Uncle Tom's cabin because we found this book here when we first came here, it's called Uncle Tom's cabin. And uh, I named this place Uncle Tom's cabin. So it's pretty, you know, the name suits this place. It kind of reminds me of Tom's old house and it is really haunted and creepy. The only problem is, is this place has been destroyed. Someone absolutely destroyed this place. Let me show you guys what I mean. So if you guys remember in the past, this place was in decent condition. Not destroyed, no broken glass, nothing. Someone has come here and just obliterated this place, taking all the dishes out of the cabins, basically dismantled the island, broken the fridge over here, and uh, they've actually destroyed, you guys remember there were some creepy rocking chairs in here? All the windows here are completely broken, even this is broken. There was some rocking chairs, those rocking chairs are obliterated. I don't know what happened, but I don't know if someone came and did this, or maybe the evil energy in here did this. Even upstairs, everything is like completely destroyed. Oh, is it? been some because the copper is missing. Oh, that's probably what it is, copper thieves. But like, why destroy the rocking chairs? Those were really cool. I wonder if they destroyed the uh, the crucifix that was here. Oh, yeah. There was a crucifix here somewhere. Look at this, guys. Even the windows are all broken. And... Look at this window's missing. I haven't gone upstairs yet. Angelo was upstairs. But that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be opening up the die big box. Like I said, I didn't want to do it at home. We're definitely not doing it at Angelo's house. His mom would freak out. <laughs> My wife would freak <laughs> out. Um, which is why we decided to just come to an abandoned house and do it here. And what better place to do it? than this place over here. I am gonna go upstairs just to see what the heck happened upstairs before we get the show on the road over here. Now, if you guys remember, we had a lot of paranormal activity. Rennie and I actually slept in this place. We did an overnight challenge here. Oh, wow. They destroyed the windows. The windows are missing over here. Holy shit, look at this, guys. See, this is why you can't give out locations to abandoned places. People destroy them. Broken mirrors, really bad sign. What about this mirror over here? Oh, yeah. Shit. My bad. I just broke a mirror, so now I'm gonna get some bad luck from that one. Great, especially that mirror. You guys remember what we did with that mirror in those previous videos. So there were some paintings here. Some native Indian paintings, and they were they're on the ground there, they're destroyed too. I absolutely hate it when people do this. It's so dumb. You have to be like a really big loser and not have a life to just come and destroy places. Like this used to be somebody's home, you know? I mean, we come here, we document, we don't destroy, we don't, you know, we don't do anything negative to these places. We just film. I mean, at least this room, oh, never mind. The window here is broken too. This room, you guys remember this room? I had some weird paranormal activity happen in this room. Um, I, had a, I had an instance where the blinds just started to go down on their own and I got her on camera, if you guys remember. Before I go downstairs and do anything with the diving box, I haven't used this in a while. I haven't used the K2 meter in a while. I wanna see if I can get any activity in this place on the K2. If I get nothing, and then once we open the diving box, we get something, it means that the diving box actually had something in it. 
I'm really excited to see what's inside of that thing. It's like, it's never been open. At least I don't know it when the last time it was been open, right? I dove down like 25 feet deep into the quarry, found it wedged between some big ass rocks. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn off my lights and uh, just wait. Any spirits here? Y'all wanna communicate with me? I remember in the past, guys, in this room, we had activity on the K2. We're getting nothing out of it right now. Meaning there's probably nothing here. Maybe the vandals scared off the ghosts, or maybe the ghosts just left, and they left with a bang. So let's go downstairs, open up that dive box, and see what we can find. Hey, this is interesting. I found a ring over here. Found your wedding ring, Angelo. Yeah, it's got like an upside down cross in the middle of it. Dude, that's pretty interesting. I found a ring with like an with like an upside down cross in the middle. Like an upside down crucifix? Really? Like actually, I found this ring here on the ground. And it's got like a crucifix or an upside down cross. Yeah, it's creepy. What else is there here? Are you ready to open up the dive box? I don't know if I'm ready for this, but <laughs> we know we're going to do it anyway, so... <laughs> We're gonna do it. That's why we came here. I mean, I've waited like, what, almost three months to open this damn thing? It's gonna get open today. Like, I, the reason why I didn't open it in the past is because I found it, and I was gonna do a video to open it up, but I ended up going to the US. I stayed, there, I stayed there for like a month and a half, came back to Canada, then ended up going back to Dominican Republic for a vacation, and then coming back here, and then I totally forgot I even had it. Like, I have a lot of haunted items in my possession, but, uh, you know, sometimes I just forget what's in my possession. So it's a good thing that I remembered this today. Angelo joined me, so his link is going to be down below. And uh, we're risking it today, guys, to give you guys a banger, to give you guys an adventure. Oh, that's not a good sign at all. There's a dead bird over here. It's missing its head. Is it really? Yeah, well, I mean, unless the head's, like, inverted or something. No, it's, just, it's actually missing its head. Oh, wow. Yep. Definitely a dead bird. All right, here we go. We got the Dybbuk box over here. Damn, I'm nervous to do this. Yeah. I've only ever opened up one of these things in the past with Omar, I think. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up this Dybbuk box. I'm gonna definitely keep my backpack on it in case I need to run yeah, out of here. Real. The good thing is, is all the windows are broken. We can just make a quick getaway if we have to. All right, here we go. How do we open this? Um, oh, it's sealed tight with wax. Yeah. I got a knife. Yo, I'm so nervous because I haven't done this in a very long time. All right, here we go. Oh, a spider just came out of it. Like actually, like a little spider. Oh, I thought I saw that. Oh yeah. A little baby spider just came out of it. All right, so there's gonna be some spiders in here probably. Okay. <laughs> We just opened up the diver box. Yo, that's weird. Huh. Oh, look at that, dude. There's like a moldy, a moldy doll or something like that. That is crazy. Right? What's the deal with that? Oh, look, there's a. a what is that? What's what? That thing. This? Yeah. I don't know. It looks like some type of paper. Um. I need gloves or something. I don't know. This is gross. Well, I just tried to search for some gloves. I didn't have any gloves. So it looks like there's a very moldy, moldy doll in here. It looks like some type of voodoo doll. Yeah. I'm right? Like that. There's a little there's a little shoe here. Should I? Yeah, all of a sudden. All right, all right bugs. Yeah. So there's a little shoe here. Oh, it's stuck on something. Oh. Ew, it's like a little key. What the f is this? Who's Amber? It says Amber. Okay, we got a shoe over here that says Amber. What the fuck was that? Something just moved over there. It's hard to hear anything with our own eyes. Um, with, sorry, with our ears, did I just say eyes? Yeah. Because the windows are broken and you can hear all the cicadas outside and the crickets. That's the only place that we didn't check here, huh? It's the basement. 
Oh, dude. What? K2's just going off. Sound like there was somebody outside just now. We have our lights off. You recording? Yeah. Okay. Literally sound like somebody was just walking outside. That was trippy. Yeah. All right. So the K2 was going off. Here, I'm gonna turn off my lights and show you guys. Look at this. Right in front of the box right now. I, I did use the K2 around the house when we came in here. Yeah. And I was getting nothing. Oh, look at that. That's, okay, this is cool. This is good that we're getting that now. All right, so maybe we did unleash something from the Zozo box. I guess that's what it says, Zozo in here. Hmm? I don't want to touch that, but what is that? Let me pull it out here. You hold the shoe, I'll pull it. Oh. What is that? Oh, is that like a sock? Yeah, that's a sock. That's all wax, though. Yeah. Like candle wax? Oh, dude, it's on my finger. Okay, let's... Oh, dude, feel this thing. Feel it. The, the, the doll. Oh, my God, it's like hard. Yeah, it's hard like a rock. What the hell? That's a voodoo doll. Yeah. Guys, look at... The engravings and the shapes on this damn thing, it's freaking creepy. Look at this thing. Yeah, the vibes have just yeah. gotten really spooky all of a sudden. Hello? Really? Well, there's only one way in, and it's that door over there. What the f was snapping up there? What the hell was that? That was a heavy footstep, dude. Holy shit. Dude, there's no one up there. Could it be a raccoon? I don't know. I Alright, let's, let's take both stairs. You take one staircase, and I'll take another staircase. And we'll go and check it out. I'm gonna leave that here, hopefully. Okay, I'll go up this way. It came from up in this room. It must have been a raccoon or something. Nothing. Could have been a raccoon, maybe. It sounded like it came from here, like right above us. This is right above the kitchen where we were. Checking my K2s over here. I feel like it's been forever since I've done any ghost hunting videos. Anything on there? No, I'm getting nothing right now. Any spirits in here with us? What's that? Yeah, that wasn't me. Hello? What the f is that? I have no idea. That's not you moving? No. Somebody's moving. Yeah. Some, somebody, something, something, something's moving in here. I'm putting my key to me. Might have unleashed something from the Dybic box. Hopefully we did, but hopefully we didn't. Hopefully it's something dangerous, nothing that's gonna attack us.
Dude, we should stand here. Like, stand here quietly. Are there any spirits in here with us? Make that lamp shake. What? Seriously? Yeah. You know, even before we opened that diving box, this house always had like a lot of paranormal oh, yeah. activity in it. Hey, let's go and let's go and keep investigating the diving box. Yeah. We might we might get more. We might get nothing. We'll see. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling though, uncut. I'm so nervous to be down here alone. I, we definitely heard like some. Oh, what the. Dude, another dead bird. Unless that's the one that we saw upstairs. Oh. Did you see the other ones go up there? No, this one's got a face. Oh. Yeah, this one's got a head. That's another one, man. What's with me in finding dead animals everywhere? It's like they follow me. Why would there be two dead birds in one house with all the windows open, right? Yeah, for real. Like, it's not that hard to see. And, and, and you can breathe pretty good in here. Like, it doesn't even smell bad. What the hell is that? Dude, that was not here before. On the porch. A strange painting. We can't get out to the porch because it's been sealed shut. This wasn't sealed shut in the past. Right? Yeah, that's weird. That's new. I wonder if we can actually, no, we can't see, like, look. No, we can't even get out there. Yeah. Hey, look, there's another crucifix. That wasn't there before. Dude, somebody must have come and put a crucifix here because of the evil that lives in here. But well, we have a task at hand, and the task is um, look through the stabic box, see what's inside. Like, I, there's water in it. It's still from the quarry. Wow. Look at that. There's still water in this thing. This, ow, f Does that hurt? Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> The fact that I have cuts on my hand, and I'm touching mold for your hand. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna use a stick here. This thing's not that good, dude. <laughs> wow. Oh. Getting the real tools out now. Whoever put this doll in it, whatever, it's a doll or something. Whoever put it in here, they don't want it out. That's solid. <sighs> That's a solid ass thing. Yeah, no kidding. There's a paper in here. Oh, well, that's dude. what I was curious of. Oh, there's hair. There's someone's hair. That's a oh. ritual. That's a voodoo ritual. Dude. That's like satanic witchcraft. That is so messed up. Should I open this paper? I mean, you touched it already. You might as well now. Look at it. It's like burnt. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to get it destroyed. This box has a weird odor to it. I mean, it probably hasn't been open in a long time. Yeah, Look at true. this paper. Look how old this paper looks. What is that? It looks like it got burnt. Yeah, it did. Oh, thank God we didn't destroy it. There's a note on it. It says, curse if open, demon trap with it off. Oh, come on. Seriously? Zozo plays, this part is burnt. I don't know what that says. Do not believe. And then just like some fucking weird ass symbols here. Look at these symbols. Is that? I don't know if you guys can see this. There we go. It says, Curse if open, demon trap within. Zozo plays. No clue what the rest says because it's been burnt. And then, do not believe. Do not believe who? Zozo? Right? What's on the other side? Oh, there's like a whole satanic thing. Yeah. Wow. What that is. On here? That is freaking creepy. Guys, look at this thing. A whole ass, like a scroll of some sort, and there's hair inside. We could have just like unleashed something, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I think. What is that? That sounds like someone was like breathing in here. Huh. 
Did you kill these birds? Nothing in there. I'm so on edge right now. So what does this mean? What do we do with this I with this no thing? Idea. Do we just leave it here? Guess. Here's what I want to do. I want to spend like a few hours in here documenting. Since we did open it. You never know, something might go down. Nothing might happen. Regardless, I'm uploading this video. I've got my hands really dirty with that thing. Okay, we've been waiting for like half an hour to 45 minutes. Trying to listen in. We haven't had anything concrete. Some little sounds here and there, but nothing that I would think is paranormal. <gasps> I don't know. Did you open that door? No. That was a loud noise. Yeah. Okay. Who opened that door? That door was not open. So if this door is open, but this one is sealed. Dude, I'm terrified of this now. The Dybuk box is doing this 100%. Oh yeah, I agree. Is, it, is everything still there, like everything intact? Something opened this door. This was not open before. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to review my footage. But we did not open this door, no way. Like, it couldn't have just opened by itself. Maybe whatever caused that noise did that. Anything? I don't like this at all. Demon? Spirit? Definitely not going down there. That's creepy as hell. It was like, it was, it sounded like something literally running upstairs, but on the roof outside. Oh yeah, for real. That's what it sounded like, right? Yeah. Hey, you know what's crazy? What? Is a dream catcher is still in one piece. The thing's been here forever. Oh wow. Hmm. I don't like this. I, I want to get out of here. Yeah. We should take that Dybbuk box with us though. Like, I don't know. Should we leave it? Like, I don't want to leave it. We're gonna put all the contents of this Dybbuk box back in here. Not by order. The only problem is, is we can't seal it shut because it needs wax. Yeah. Do you want to hold it? Not really. <laughs> I don't want to hold it. <laughs> all right, rock, paper, scissors. It's your idea to bring it. You're I know, I know, it? but rock, paper, scissors. All right. Only one time. All right. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, <laughs> son of a gun. <laughs> So I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's a crazy looking moon out there today. I have the Dybbuk box with me. I don't know, like I don't even want to bring this in my truck after we've opened it. I mean, too late now. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so here's the deal. We're gonna take this with us and dispose of it in a proper manner. Yeah. I'll continue I'll continue the video for tomorrow. That's what we'll do, we'll dispose of it tomorrow. Okay. In the daytime, maybe we'll like throw it into like a river or something. Yeah. I think that's the best way to seal it. Maybe we'll seal it with wax. Put it back where you found it. Yeah, so I'll continue the vlog, or I'll continue the video for tomorrow, and we'll do that in tomorrow's series, which will be featured in this video, of course. Oh, f f Yo, I was walking, and it's like something just shoved the f***ing box out of my hand. Oh my god. That was so violent. We're walking in the dark. It's a long driveway. <sighs> Parts of the box broke, dude. Shit. Okay, that was violent. I don't know what did that. It's like something like throw that in there. We need every piece we can. This that's 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 just fucked. Something actually shoved the box out of my hand. We weren't filming, we we're just walking and talking in the dark. Um that's fucked. What? All I see is uh, that really creepy looking moon back there. Yeah. 
All right, so I don't know if I even want to take this in my truck now after what just happened. Can't just leave it here. No, we're not gonna leave it here. If something happens, we'll document it then. All right, guys, I'm definitely not gonna be putting the Divic box in my truck itself. I'm just gonna put it back here because I don't want nothing bad to happen while we're driving home. Yeah, <laughs> You're kidding me. What's wrong? It won't start. My truck won't start. For real? Yeah. It won't even start. I got my foot on the brake. What the f is going on? It won't start. Come on, Honda. That doesn't make any sense. There's no way. Ever since we put the Dybuk box in there, there's no f***ing way. Why the f*** won't it start? Like, I'm pushing brake, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I know how to start my f***ing car. Obviously. The windows work. Is your window working? The battery clearly works. Yeah, yeah mine's fine. Dude, what the f*** does that smell? Is that my engine? I hope not. Oh. Is my engine smoking? What? What? <gasps> what the f is that? <gasps> oh! Oh, what the f? Oh, oh! What the f? The dipping box is on fire! Oh my god! Oh! Ah, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. Careful, careful. What the f? How the f did that happen? Dude, the dipping box caught fire? I thought it was my engine. My car w it won't start. Oh man. Dude, look at it. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh my god, that thing is sizzling. Okay, Dude. Man, don't burn yourself. Ah, that's not. Oh wow. We just put. Ah. Dude, this f***ing thing is on fire. Okay, what do we do with it though? Leave it. I'm not taking it. That's a bad omen right there. Literally, that's a f***ing bad omen. The whole thing is engulfed in fire. Oh my god. Yep, we're not we're not we're not messing with this the big box. Yeah. I'm not let this thing burn. I'm not taking this home. Look at it, it's just getting crazier. Yeah, dude. Whoo! Oh god, the whole box is catching out. Yeah! Oh my god. But how though? That is insane. So I'm trying to start my car, right? Like guys, we're still like the house is just around the corner. We're still here. We just put it in the truck. I get in to start my car. For my truck and it won't start it literally won't start well i guess there's not much we can do we just gotta let it burn right out here in the middle of nowhere the dybic box is burning you guys oh my god look at this this is crazy i can't believe this i mean that might be a a, a good thing look at this thing it's like turning black it's crazy should we like put it out or just let it burn yeah it, it's nasty yeah it smells weird I mean, it smells like burning. <laughs> no, to me, it's, I smell something else. Like I what? Don't I don't know. I can't describe it. All right, so we're just going to sit here and let it burn. I'm definitely not taking it, even after it's... a little bit further? Dude, look at how the fire is going though now. I know, for real. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's going to set it on fire oh, even boy. more. I, I, yep. Whew. That's a fire right there. A Dobbick box fire. I've never yeah. seen that before in my life. Holy shit. That's <laughs> oh, crazy. Man. Hey demon, I hope you're the one that's burning. Like, what the hell? Did you do this? Guys, like, <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. The whole thing is like, oh. <laughs> but it's like something evil is burning and the flames are just like chaotic from this. Wow. What if I just like throw dust and sand on it? <laughs> I mean, you don't have water. I'm, you know what, we should just let it burn. Let yeah. it burn. I'm, I'm not taking this dive box home, no way. There's something evil in this thing. <laughs> Look at, it's still burning. And the funny thing is, is it was soaking wet, right? Right? It was like completely... How is it even... I, I don't understand how that happened. It was completely soaked in water when we opened it. Oh, Jesus. All right, fire's been put out, guys. Yep, fire's been put out. Holy shit. There's not much we can do with this. Look at it. It's, it's all destroyed. Why did this doll? It seemed like the doll's the thing that caught fire, right? Yeah. 
And it's still firm like a rock. You know what's weird? Huh. The paper didn't burn. Oh, dude, the paper was on fire before. It's like singed, but it's not actually like... Yeah, it didn't catch fire. That's interesting. That's weird. What about the shoe? The shoe's fine. That's hot. It was only the doll. Look, the doll's face. Literally just the doll in the box. The paper's fine. And you know what's funny? Is this paper had already caught fire. Yeah, that's right? what I'm saying. Like when we opened it, it, it looked like it had already caught fire. Like it's not hot to the touch. Nothing right now. I've never seen anything like this. Well, whatever did this, we might have set it free. It might have just killed itself or something. I guess. I don't know. I honestly don't even know what to tell you. What do you guys think we should do? Let us know in the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and end off this video. Get the hell out of here because I don't want to be here. Wait, let's see. Let's see if the, the truck starts. I mean, how are we going to get out of here if the truck doesn't start? You think it's because of that? I don't know. Oh, what the? Oh, yeah. It just started. The truck started. Yeah. The engine works, no problem. Wait, let me turn it off again. See, holding the brake just like I was earlier, it turns on. I say you just leave it running for now. Yeah. It's probably the best idea. Do you think it was a dive, dive box that was in that? Had to 100%, right? Definitely the box that did that. F that. Yep, that's staying right here. Alright, see you later. Bye.